Hey guys, welcome to Hair System DIY. I'm your host Adam. Apologies for the noise if you can hear it outside. There's some annoying idiot drilling a hole in the street. Anyway, welcome to the channel. Um, today's video I wanted to focus on a question that one of my subscribers asked me and I was like this would be great to make a video about. So it's going to be Swiss lace, which is what I'm wearing right now, versus a poly thin skin. Now, I think it's good to compare and contrast the two, but I'm going to say it up front now, one is not better than the other, and one might suit one person better than it might suit another person, and vice versa. So I'm going to run through a few of the pros for each, a few of the cons for each. So, as you can see, um, this is a poly thin skin. Um, this is an old system which I wore a while ago and it's got a lot of good qualities to it. So, number one, it's really quite undetectable. Um, as it's a thin skin, it's got like a transparent membrane. So you can't, you, you can have a really natural, really natural looking hairline um, when you wear a, a poly thin skin. Also, this is 0.03 millimeters, I think, in, in width. Um, so it is quite delicate, um, but it does make it virtually undetectable. And also, if you're like scratching your head or if someone else is scratching your head, you never really feel it at all, it just feels like normal skin. So that's a really good thing. Um, number two, clean up is super easy. Clean up is super easy with um, a poly thin skin. Um, if you've got glue on it, it comes off pretty easily with a bit of cotton wool and adhesive remover. Also, it's really good for tape, so tape sticks really, really, really well to a poly thin skin. Now, you will hear some people say, oh yeah, don't put uh, tape on a poly because it's very thin and it might tear. It's a fairly valid point, but I've used thin skins in the past where I have not had that issue. I've just used tape, it's come off really easily, and yeah, I don't see a problem with it. As long as you're careful taking it off and you use some adhesive remover, you should be fine. Um, also, with a poly thin skin, um, I think it kind of goes back to that natural appearance. I think it does give a more natural appearance than a, than a Swiss lace. Some people might disagree. Um, both have a pretty good hairline. Um, now to the cons. If you, it's not as easy to sweat with a thin skin. If you're sporty or if you're active, um, thin skin might not be for you because basically your scalp can't breathe under this thing. Uh, the membrane is completely uh, sealed up. There's nowhere that you can effectively sweat, it just gets stuck. Um, and as a result, if you do sweat, it can make the adhesive become loose and so on and so forth. Um, so that can become a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, also, they do tend to... That guy drilling is really starting to annoy me. Um, what you can also do is... Um... I've lost my train of thought. As you can tell, my videos are completely unedited. Um, yeah, so basically, when you are wearing a thin skin, you will find that you get through more of them as well, which in the long term is going to cost you more money. Um, so if you're willing to spend a bit more, yeah, poly thin skin can be really good for you. And if you, if you don't sweat too much, I think a poly thin skin is probably a good idea for you. It gives a really natural hairline, um, it's light, it's easy to clean, um, and yeah, it's just completely, it's easy to brush, it's very undetectable. Um, it holds together fairly well, as long as you don't tear it. It is quite delicate, that's one of the... The cons of a poly thin skin is it is quite delicate and it can tear quite easily. So please guys, if you're going to wear one, be careful with it. Okay, um, Swiss lace. Swiss lace is what I'm wearing right now. Um, if I had to decide which one I preferred, I prefer Swiss lace for a number of reasons. Number one, it's breathable. Um, so it has little holes in it, which means that your skin can breathe. It also means you can sweat. Um, now. I have a lot of saunas and a lot of baths where I do sweat and I did struggle in this respect when I was wearing a poly because my, the poly kept coming loose because the sweat had nowhere to go and it was loosening the adhesive remove, uh, it was lo loosening the adhesive. So 
that's why that's not one of the reasons why I prefer a Swiss lace. Also, with adhesive, it tends to stick better, I've found, with a Swiss lace. This is open for debate, um, but I've found in my experience that um, water-based adhesive, which is what I use, tends to glue better to a Swiss lace. Um, as far as tape is concerned, tape can go on a Swiss lace, but it's not as easy to attach, in my experience. Um, so that might be worth bearing in mind. Also for a Swiss lace, they last longer. Um, so Swiss lace can last anywhere between three to even eight months if you take good care of it. And by good care, um, I mean sort of adhering to the principles of leaving conditioner every day, maybe conditioning it every few days, giving it a good shampoo every few days, and just taking good care of it. Try to avoid going chlorine water too much, guys, or women. It's not a good idea because it can cause the hair to dry out, it can cause the hair to lose its colour, and so on and so forth. So that's also worth bearing in mind. Um, I think that's really all I have to say as regards to Swiss lace versus poly. I've tried both. Um, I do prefer Swiss lace. Um, what I would like to try and what I will be trying in future um, is a um, Swiss lace base but with a poly perimeter and then lace at the front. I'd really like to try that because I love the natural hairline that a lace gives but I love how poly um, how poly can sort of stick to um, adhesive tape. It sticks a lot better and I, I was thinking about getting that around the sides so I think that's probably the next system that I will be getting. Um, at this point I would like to mention that um, if you, I apologise for my voice, I've not been very well at the moment. Um, but if you go with Swiss uh, New Lace CU, um, you'll see more about that in my description. Um, if you mention my name or my channel's name, you will get a 20% discount on your first order. Um, I get all of my systems from them, they're absolutely fantastic, the quality is amazing, the customer service is amazing, and the delivery is amazing as well. So I'd really recommend you go to their website and check them out. And that's all from me for now. I hope you're well, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.